The foreign exchange market has been volatile, and following the sharp drop in the USD, JPY exchange rate to close to 130 pips, the recent drop in the RMB by thousands of pips has also caused concern. The offshore exchange rate rose from 6.4 to near 6.58, a drop as much as 1,800 pips. So, what is the logic of the RMB's decline? Has the dramatic shakeout in global capital markets turned the tide in the foreign exchange market? The International Monetary Fund last week made a downward revision to global economic growth, revising it to 3.6% for both 2022 and 2023. Global growth is expected to fall to around 3.3% in the mid-term of 2023. The IMF believes China's economy is growing at an overall rate of 4.4% this year. It seems that the market has taken the matter seriously this time, and it is clear that the IMF expectation is much lower than the 5.5% goal set by the Chinese government. China's 4.8% first quarter GDP seems to be even more validating the IMF judgment, which sets the stage for the RM. The exchange rate to fall, the US will start raising interest rates by 50 basis points in May 2022, with the US 10-year bond yield quoted at 2.94%, close to 3%, returning to 2018 high. On the other hand, the Chinese 10-year government bond is reported to be around 2.88%. Both China and U.S. government bonds con in to be inverted on April the 11th, first time since 2010. In June 2021, China's 10-year government bond yield was 3.1%, ranked top 30% globally. It is currently ranked around 50% to 70% at 2.8% position now. Foreign capital continued to flow out of China starting in March, with foreign investors selling a net $7.1 billion worth of stocks through Hong Kong's Stock Connect program and $1.01 billion worth of Chinese stocks so far in April. The sell-off in Chinese stocks is also starting to affect T the exchange rate, in fact the USD, RMB rates started to fall lower on April the 19th. China's central bank cut rates by 25 basis points in April, apparently less than the 50 basis points expected by the market, recent rumors of another rate cut by May. It required the central bank to take an accommodative stance to, to maintain economic growth and the impact of the epidemic on economic growth, and since China did not engage in an unlimited amount of monetary easing during the epidemic, which contrasts with the monetary policies of countries, like the US or countries from the West, there is still space for currently monetary policy adjustment. Obviously, unlike the plunge in the Japanese yen, the fall in the RMB has the bearish impact of the pandemic and the disadvantage of widening US-China spreads. However, the growth fundamentals in the Chinese economy and the domestic market base support that A shares may be more tenable due to a strong domestic investor base. They are also able to benefit from greater policy easing measures. Now perhaps is the most difficult period. We stand in the view of history, but also stand at the turning point of the market. The volatility of the Forex market brings huge opportunity. Chaos or chances? It depends on you.